Welcome to Polish Hill. Welcome to Pittsburgh's fabulous weather. And we're here today uh, to do a third go round uh, on a race that we're extremely thrilled about, excited to have. And uh, if you speak to Patrick's parents, what you'll probably hear is that Patrick Dowd had an unusual uh, attraction to uh, the David and Goliath Bible story. And so we did it once, we did it twice, today is number three. Uh, Patrick's uh, a good friend, professional colleague, and so it's with uh, great admiration and respect and gratitude that uh, I introduce Patrick Dow to you for mayor. Thank you. to make sure that we were outside so everybody got to know exactly what the weather's like in Pittsburgh. Wanted to make sure that uh, people knew too also seriously um, that we're not afraid of the elements, we're not afraid of this weather, anything that's in front of us. Uh, in fact we kind of like the winds of change that are, whoop, we like the winds of change that are blowing uh, today and we think that that's a good sign. Uh, I have a few comments that I'd like to read and then uh, we'll take some questions uh, from folks afterwards. Transformative times require vision and leadership. Today, more than ever, Pittsburgh deserves a mayor who's willing to look to the future and lead through hard work, careful listening, and a willingness to make tough decisions. Confident that I can do that, confident that I can be that type of mayor, I announce today that I am officially a candidate for the Democratic Party nomination for the office of mayor for the city of Pittsburgh. Nationally, nationally, we are excited by the promise of our new president and the hope that he is inspiring. At the same time, however, we are worried, in fact, deeply troubled about the economic crisis that's around us. Uh, just the other night, I was sitting at a kitchen table. I was talking to a young man who was telling a story that you know, a lot of us have been feeling and experiencing at our own tables about his worries for his job in the future here in the city and other people that he knows as well. This is real. This is very real. And we know that this crisis will transform fundamentally our economy, both locally and nationally. We're still as yet unclear as to how that, that change will take place. Vision and leadership can take times of crisis, times of uncertainty, and turn them into opportunity. And so it's that for that reason that I say, let's seize this day today. Let's seize this day and elect a mayor who will look to the future with vision and leadership. Across this nation as never before, urban centers are experiencing a rebirth. Here in Polish Hill, and we chose Polish Hill for a reason, here in Polish Hill, we see that. We see that folks of all types are moving into this neighborhood. The old and the new, those who have lived here for generations and those who've just moved in, are living together in this neighborhood and they're thriving. And I just, I want to point to these buildings, look around you when you're finished here, look around this neighborhood. Lots and lots of things are happening. There's still more, much more work to be done, but you can begin to see the seeds of growth and development for this neighborhood and for our city and for urban centers in general. A century ago, thousands of people moved to neighborhoods like Polish Hill. They staked their claim and they contributed to the vitality of their community and a symbol of that would be this church or our city itself, all of the, the production that was taking place in the city a century ago. People came here because they saw opportunity. They came here because they saw opportunity and there are opportunities in Pittsburgh today. It is the, it's the role of the city government, however, to make sure that we are further constructing, coordinating, and promoting those opportunities. And if city government doesn't engage that project, then those opportunities in our population will continue to shrink and decline. I therefore pledge that as mayor of the city of Pittsburgh, I will work every single day to reverse population decline in the city of Pittsburgh. I won't leave that office one night without being able to answer the question, what did we, not just me, but what did we 
do to reverse population decline and to grow the city.